Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start marking the word yes. This is the first time Lily has ever had a remote collar on. She's very distracted by the smells that are on the ground, so we're going to try to get her to stop doing that here eventually. Yes! You go, good job. Good job. I'm not using treats, I'm just using regular dog food. Yes! Anytime Lily, Lily gives me her attention, I'm going to mark it with the word yes and give her a reward. Yes! Let's go, let's go. I'm going to have the reward come from both hands. Yes! Yes! She doesn't necessarily have to be in a sit position or anything like that. She just needs to be uh, focused on me. Yes! Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start adding uh, some stem with the with the collar, and we'll see how she responds. Start her out on a super low level. Yes. Good job. Come. Yes. Good. Good girl. Come. Yes. Good job. Come. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Come. Yes. Good job. Good job. Come. Yes. As soon as Lily turns around and pays attention to me, she can shut the collar off. Come. Yes. Good. Good. Job. Come. 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 Yes. Good girl. Come. Yes. Good. Come. Yes. Lots of rewards for her making the right decision. Come. Yes. Good. Good job. Yes. Good job. There's only three levels to the collar. There's too low, there's too high, and then there's just right. I want to find that just right level for her with whatever kind of distractions that we're dealing with. So in here, the distraction is basically the smell on the floor. 
If I'm outside, it could be a number of things. So you're going to have to kind of get used to uh, changing the level of intensity on the collar in order to get the, the desired uh, results that you want with your dog. Good. Come. Come. Yes. There you go. Nice job. I'm going to go ahead and take her leash off of her now. Just look, kind of let her run around here a little bit. Okay. Okay. Good girl. Yeah. That's a good girl right there. Yeah, that's good. Come. Yes. Nice job. Nice job. Nice solid recall right there. Basically, she was heading off and going the other direction. I used that to my advantage, told her to come. Uh, as soon as she turned around and paid attention to me, the collar turned off. I said the word yes and gave her her reward. Good job. Come. Yes. There you go. Good. Now, the radio didn't pick it up that time, but listen, every time I tell her to come, I'm definitely hitting that button until she pays attention. Good job. Now basically what I did there, come, come, come. I'm turning up the intensity just a little bit. Good. There you go. Good girl. So I basically went from a level 8 to about a 14, uh, but I just turned it up a little bit at a time just because the tapping that I was giving her on her shoulder was not getting her attention. So I had to just tap her a little bit harder until she does pay attention. Come. Yes, there you go. Good girl. You can still, I mean, you can see her tail's up, it's wagging. Uh, she's still taking food from me, which is a really good sign. Come. Yes, nice job. Good girl. Good girl. Come. Yes, nice. Good. Come. Yes. Nice job. Big reason why you want to have them on leash. Come. Yes. There you go. Good job. One of the reasons why you want to have them on leash when you're starting this training is to uh, decrease the chances of them avoiding the collar. So a lot of times if they're off leash and you start pushing the button, they'll go the other direction thinking that they can avoid what they're feeling on their neck by running away from it. So what you want them to do is you want to make them, you know, set them up for success by having them on leash and encouraging them to come towards you and let them know that, hey, when you come towards me, that's what shuts the collar off when I tell you to come. Come. Yes. Nice job. And there you have it. That's it. Um, we have basically taught her to, to come off leash. Um, and just within about 10 minutes or so, I'm um, just using her regular dog food uh, as a reward. And uh, just keep in mind that everything that we've done today is uh, in a confined area. Um, and that's what I suggest that you start with is everything is in a confined area, especially when you start the off-leash work. But I would basically transition what we did here today, the six-foot leash, letting her drag the leash, and then going off leash, I would do that same kind of sequence when you go outside into uh, like a fenced in area, a backyard, a dog park or something like that. But it's nice to be able to, to, to have a fenced in area to you where you can get it really reliable and um, then you can start having fun with your dog everywhere and just being able to take them everywhere with you off leash and be able to have a reliable recall. And so um, if you have any questions, you can feel free to contact us through our website, which is on this DVD. And um, I hope everything works out well for you. Thank you. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start marking the word yes. This is the first time Liz, Lily has ever had a remote collar on. 
She's very distracted by the smells that are on the ground, so we're going to try to get her to stop doing that here eventually. Yes! You go. Good job. Good job. I'm not using treats, I'm just using regular dog food. Yes! Anytime Lily, Lily gives me her attention,